I just want to remind you at the outset, the author of this uh, sound that's going to create reality, sound creates reality, sound creates the reality. That's also the finding of the modern uh, string theory that says that sound is the fundamental uh, founding blocks of material reality. But this reality was discovered by Vedic seers, you know, even at the dawn of our, our, our civilization. The author of this mantra, Sri Mrazi, is Vishwamitra, who was uh, an emperor and who wanted to give a lifestyle that uh, of, of his, own, uh, his own lifestyle, the emperor's lifestyle for everyone. And he was the the most compassionate being ever lived on the earth plane. And he found out that there is no economic theory that would substantiate it because uh, it's the, the, his treasury would bank, go bankrupt if he gives uh, all the money in the bank uh, in, the, in his treasury to, the, to his citizens. So he thought that it's uh, fundamentally the, the, a person's consciousness that is responsible for uh, that person's uh, wealth or, or poverty. Uh, the poverty is created by consciousness. Wealth is created by consciousness. Fundamentally, both wealth and poverty are sound frequencies. And these sound frequencies, if they are changed and then lodged in, in one's brain, and one begins to live it, then he is able to accordingly create poverty or, uh, or prosperity. And that is the fundamental basis for this. So this is the time during the time that divine comes with a divine solution. And the divine solution is that Shreem, Shreem Brazil. This is the sound, a bosonic sound uh, that can create the reality. And this the reality here is the reality of, of, uh, of prosperity for everyone. Regardless whether you have a skill set or whether you have education or whether you have anything, it doesn't really matter. What really matters is just to hammer, hammer and hammer and hammer your brain with this sound. And there is actually an example of a, a wine cork hammering a huge iron bar and it keeps on uh, you know, hammering the iron bar. And the huge iron bar you know, uh, gets bent just by the iron cork, constantly uh, bending and bear, you know, hitting the iron bar. And this is exactly the same thing that is happening when you use the sound uh, Shreem Brazi. It hammers and hammers and hammers. And uh, there are a couple of things here. There are two types of hammering going on when you use it. One is by Shreem and another is by uh, Brazi. The Brazi hammering is uh, going to help you to change your karma. But in the, for now, it's enough for you to understand. Unless your karma is changed, nothing is going to change. So it's important to change your karma. What is karma? Karma is your mindset. A mindset comes from your, your, uh, your father, your father's father, and, uh, and the great-grandfather, and all these the biological genes. Uh, are also have correlates for uh, the soul genes. So you are also conditioned by the genes that you have inherited. If they are poverty genes, then you are naturally uh, uh, thinking in those thoughts that are not uh, prosperity related. So that is karma. And that has to be changed and that Abhiraji has the ability to change that. And uh, I want to have uh, people to know for themselves through monitoring their own progress by seeing this sound. Every second is new. It's not that, you know, you will have to pay, you know, a lot of time to get this done. Even the hammering analogy is just only an analogy. If your consciousness goes to a very, very low certain level, then the hammering is not needed at all. Even just by one thought, uh, thing uh, of stream disease, you can create a different reality. It's a matter of uh, refining your consciousness to the atomic level, be below the thinking level. When the breath stops, 
you can breathe you can stop your breathing when the breathing stops then the mind will also stop and at that level it is the most powerful uh, condition and in that condition stream breathing has to be used and this is the only way that i know of not only nai but also the emperor knows that everybody you including the gardener or the you know, or even people who are below a gardener can get to prosperity that's why he spent 1500 years refining his consciousness to that level to find out the origin of money and there are now so many people talking you know whether they are politicians or whether they are spiritual people they are both against money have you ever seen a uh, politician talking about the prosperity of people no he will never talk about that or uh, the religious people they will never talk about uh, uh, prosperity but the truth remains uh, that when you receive money when you receive a bonus or an increment or uh, somebody gives you a gift how do you feel you feel uh, a life bubbling for there is inherent joy why there is joy because money and joy and life are synonyms life money joy are synonyms and why are the politicians the econo- economists and then uh, even mostly the religious people the gurus and others why they talk against money because they because they they know that they cannot provide money to everyone they don't know any ways and then it is you know you know you read any scriptures for that matter they know uh, they all put down moneyed people but they all end up the politicians become rich the religious people become rich and then uh, uh, but then their teaching doesn't talk about money as far as i know that i am the only guy who come out with and tell you the truth this will be you know whether you, you go you pass by a beggar and then you just uh, put a 100 dollar bill to a beggar you will see him he will light up he will light up and this is what true maybe a billionaire will light up only when you give a 100 million dollars you know because for him 100 dollars doesn't matter but the truth of the matter is that money lights you up why because it is freeing on money is free the, the the word for money which is not this uh, dollar bill but real money which is uh, gold is free it is the sound of life the sound of life the sound of prana is free and then when you begin to uh live that sound that is when you are going to experience the creation they will be you will be able to see the creative process so you see using the sound you will come in touch with the creative process and that is the most important one mm-hmm.